All right, friends, today in math, we learned a new counting strategy. So a couple weeks ago, we started with our counting strategies and we learned about count and scoot. So we count one and we scoot one. We also learned the counting strategy of count and touch. So we count and touch each one. And then last week we learned count and check. So we can grab objects and then we can check them off or mark them off as we count them. To this week and today's activity, we're going to be using use a 10 frame. And this is one of the last counting strategies we're going to learn. So today, in order to do the activity, you're going to need your 10 frame that's on your plastic sleeve ring that we gave you at the beginning of the school year. You're going to need the worksheet that we started in class today. We already did some examples of using a 10 frame to count. And then if you want, you can grab your counting strategies and you'll need at least one bag. If you wanna grab two or three, depends if you wanna use different counters. I'm just gonna use my puff balls today because there's plenty of them in here for me to use. But you can use your counters, your noodles, your bears, because you're going to be grabbing handfuls, just like we were doing in class, and then organizing them on our 10 frame and writing them on our worksheet. Okay, so go get your materials and meet me back here. So today in class, we were doing a similar activity we were taking a handful of puff balls, we took them out, we put them down, and before we would count, we'd have to organize. But when we organize, we are using a 10 frame this week. So by putting them in the 10 frame, that's organizing it. So if I grab this, if this was my first handful, I pulled it out, I'm gonna place one puff ball in each square of the 10 frame. And now it's organized. I'm gonna start counting here and I'm gonna stop counting here. And now I'm gonna use my 10 frame. They're organized this way. And then because they're in the 10 frame and my brain hasn't subidized yet, it doesn't see numbers in 10 frame yet and automatically know them because it's the beginning of the school year. So I'm gonna go back and actually have to use another strategy with this one. So I'm gonna I organize it in a 10 frame and then I think I'm gonna go back and count and touch today because they're in here. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, four. So I got the quantity four. So just like we did in class, I would then go to my next empty spot on my worksheet and I'm gonna put, make it match the same way. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna double check. One, 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 yep. And now I'm gonna draw a four. Down, over, down once more. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna put my puff balls back in my bag. And I'm gonna grab a bigger handful. Ooh, okay. Now our strategy this week is use a 10 frame. So now I'm gonna organize them in a 10 frame. That's my strategy. So I'm gonna put one puff ball in each square of the 10 frame. Now we don't, our brain doesn't subidize yet. I don't see it. My brain does because I, I've been practicing this for a couple years now. Yours will get really good at this. I wouldn't even be surprised if in the next couple of weeks some of you are like, nope, I know that number. So I'm gonna have to use a second strategy. Now that I organized it, I have a start and a stop. I'm gonna go back and use count and touch for, to figure out how many this is. One, two, three, four, five, six. I got the quantity six. So the next step is to make sure now that this 10 frame looks like the 10 frame on my worksheet. So I'm gonna fill up one, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna make sure I have one on the top in each box. And then I'm gonna need one more down here. And that quantity was, oh, I forgot. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, boys and girls, the reason why we teach you this strategy is because as we get really good at seeing our numbers and object, objects in our 10 frame, I'm gonna show you what my brain did. I know this is a 10 frame and the top is five and it's full because I know if every spot in my five frame is full, it's five. So I saw five and then I saw one more and I know five and one more is six. So my brain was able to really quickly organize this in a 10 frame and then know what quantity is. And I promise you, your brains are gonna be doing that really soon as well. So let me do one more example for you and then you're going to flip over your worksheet and do the back yourself. 
So I'm gonna put my puff balls back in my bag. I'm gonna take out another handful. Ooh, this is a lot. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this might be more, but this will be a good thing for us to practice. Okay, so this is a lot. I still have to organize because today I'm using my strategy of using a 10 frame. So I'm gonna organize my objects, one in each square. I can't do more than one because that's not allowed. One in each square. Oh my goodness, my 10 frame is full. We don't have a second 10 frame like we do in calendar. So all my extras, they can't go in the other squares. They have to go on the outside. Just like when we learned about our five frame, our five frame could only fit five. Our 10 frame can only fit 10. So I'm gonna organize the rest. I'm gonna pretend I maybe have another 10 frame down here. I'm gonna organize the extras on the outside of the 10 frame. And now this is a lot. So I'm gonna to need to make sure I use another strategy to make sure I get these correct. So they're organized now using a 10 frame. This is gonna be my start. This will be my stop. And now I'm gonna go back and use my strategy of count and touch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I need to write that number down before I forget. 17 is tricky. 17 is going to be a one and a seven. Now I have to make my worksheet look just like my 10 frame here. So I'm going to fill up my 10 frame. Every single spot is taken up on my 10 frame. So I know that's 10. My brain can automatically see that that's 10 because I've been practicing this strategy for a while. So I'm going to make sure that my top has 10 in there. I'm gonna fill up the top, 10. So my 10 frame is full now on my worksheet. And now I need to go back and let me look at how many extras I have on the outside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I need to put seven dots on the outside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's my extra seven. All right, boys and girls, the rest of the time, you're gonna flip over your worksheet. You're gonna take your puff balls, you'll put them back in, and you're gonna get another handful. And you're gonna do that until you fill up the back of the worksheet. When you're done and you've filled up all the 10 frames with the different quantities you've used, you're gonna take a picture and upload that to Seesaw. Or if you want, you could take a video, have mommy and daddy take a video of you using our 10 frame strategy. Now don't forget, because we're learning how to use a 10 frame, organize it in the 10 frame, and then see if you need to use another strategy to go back and double check the counting for that quantity. All right, we can't wait to see your videos or your pictures. Don't forget when you're done, take a picture of your worksheet or have parents take a video of you using the strategy of use a 10 frame.